it's time for me to get really, really, really ridiculously good looking. Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review Zoolander 2. So Zoolander 2 is a sequel to Zoolander, which came out in 2001. It's been 15 years since the first Zoolander. My goodness, wow, does time fly by. The film is directed by Ben Stiller, and it stars Ben Stiller, Owen Wilson, Penelope Cruz, Kristen Wiig, and Will Ferrell. So Zoolander 2 is about when Derek Zoolander's son gets taken away from him because he's not fit to be a parent until one day he now has to go rescue his son in Rome because his son is under the hands of the fashion industry. Now honestly when I went to Zoolander 2 I was really excited about this film but I'm gonna be honest with you guys for a long time I have never seen the first Zoolander. So I really wanted to watch the first film for the first time and I gotta say for my first time watching Zoolander I thought it was a very funny movie. I had a great Great time with Zoolander. It was very funny. It was actually very creative. It was so stupid that it's funny. There was so much energy to the actors. Ben still did a great job directing that film. And it was just a very fun comedy film that honestly just put a big old smile on my face. So I was pretty excited to go see Zoolander 2, especially after seeing Zoolander for the first time. You know, you still have Ben Stiller directing the film. You have the cast back. Ben Stiller, I really like. Owen Wilson, I really like. Kristen Wiig, I really like. Penelope Cruz, I really like. Will Ferrell. Well, I really like most of the cast here. So I have to say, after seeing Zoolander 2, I was very disappointed by this film. Like, what could have been, honestly, a good sequel did not reach to that potential. However, I will say this about Zoolander 2, I really don't think it's as bad as people are making it out to be. I don't think it's the worst comedy sequel out there, however, it is far from the best. There are things I'm going to give Zoolander 2 though, because even though I was extremely disappointed by this film, I have to give credit where credit is due, and Ben Stiller at least tried with this film. Like, he at least tried to keep it in the spirit of Zoolander. I can't help but respect that, despite my huge disappointment with Zoolander 2, because he tried to keep the comedy style the way the first film is, and like I said, for the most part, he did keep in with the spirits of the characters. I'll get to one particular character later, but Zoolander and Hansel, they are still likable characters. I still love seeing these characters on screen. Sure, the stuff that comes out of their mouths is nowhere near as funny, nowhere near as memorable as the first Zoolander, but the characters themselves are still likable. Owen Wilson and Ben Stiller, they still have very good chemistry with each other. Like, you could tell they're having a lot of fun on screen. And as far as direction goes, Ben Stiller does a really good job directing this film. His direction, just like with the first film, is very steady. He does try to keep him with the spirit of the first film, as I've said. Cinematography looks very good, too, as I do feel like it's actually very well lit from start to finish. And that's the thing about Ben Stiller's films, like with Tropic Thunder, the first Zoolander, The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. He has very great cinematography to his films, and it's honestly no exception with Zoolander 2. It looks really, really great. And there are some funny moments, without a doubt, in this film. Like the Justin Bieber cameo in the opening scene of this film. Priceless hilarious. I was actually laughing hard at the Justin Bieber cameo. There's another scene that deals with Zoolander driving a car. I'm not gonna say any more from there, but 
I was dying laughing at that certain scene. And then there's other scenes as well that was very funny. Penelope Cruz, I really liked her. I thought she brought so much energy to the film the same way Ben Stiller and Owen Wilson brought so much energy to this film. You could tell she was just having fun. And I just thought Penelope Cruz just brought such a nice screen presence in the movie. The cameos I actually really enjoyed for the most part. However, I'll get to the negative side with them but as far as positives go I did really enjoy the cameos because I thought for the most part they were funny despite like I said I'll get to the negatives later also I respect the fact that this sequel did not ignore the events of the original the events that happened in the original were not ignored in Zoolander 2 it's it actually connects well with the original which honestly I really appreciate. And then the last positive I do have with Zoolander 2 is that the music choices, just like in the first film, were really great. The music choices just fit the film very well. It just kept with the tone and style of what Zoolander 2 is going for. But of course, with the positives, now comes the negatives because as much as I do respect what Ben Stiller tried to do with this film, there are a lot of problems with Zoolander 2. And one of those problems by far is that most of the humor does not work in this film. It really doesn't. Even though you could tell it tries, I think the problem is that it tries so hard to be stupid because you know the original is so stupid it's funny, but I think the problem is that the film tries so hard to be stupid it just becomes not funny. It just comes off as just awkward and forced. As far as Penelope Cruz goes, like I said, I really like her here. She brought so much energy to the film, but they don't really do much with her character, which is a bummer because I really like Penelope Cruz. I think she's a great actress and I just felt like she could have done more in Zoolander 2. Yeah, the storyline's a mess. This movie is a jumbled mess. A lot of things just don't make sense and I get it, it's stupid, but at least the original Zoolander was consistent with its plot, like the plot actually made sense even with the stupidity that happens, but here in this film it just does not make sense and it just comes off as being very out of place. Will Ferrell as Mugatu. Okay, now look. I'm not a fan of Will Ferrell. You guys probably know this by now. But in the original Zoolander, he was hilarious. He was great as Mugatu. He had so much energy, even though he wasn't present in the first film that much. For the scenes that he had, he stole every scene he was in. And it's the same for the second film, where he's not in it that much. But man, when he is showing up in this film, I'm wondering, where is the Mugatu I loved in Zoolander because in Zoolander 2, Mugatu's presence was just extremely underwhelming. I think the reason is because, and this is where I get to the for the most part I said earlier when I said Ben Stiller tried to keep in spirit with his characters, while Zoolander and Hansel still feel like the still feel like the characters I loved in the original, Mugatu is a character that I feel like completely lost the spirit of what he was about in the original because he here, he just comes off as so dark and I get it he was in prison he even mentions in the film how prison has changed him and all but it was not a very good way he just becomes so awkwardly dark where it's just not funny it's just so uncomfortable to watch Will Ferrell you could tell definitely tries and as someone that's not a fan of Will Ferrell I give him credit for trying here but Man, Mugatu, he was just so underwhelming to watch in this film and it was just such a bummer because he was easily one of the best parts about the first Zoolander in my opinion. As for the cameos, this is where I get to the negative side with the cameos. Even though for the most part I enjoyed the cameos and I laughed at the cameos, they really did not mesh well with the overall plot. Like in the first Zoolander, and I'm sorry if I bring this up a lot, but I just can't help but tell you the events that worked in Zoolander that didn't work in the sequel. The cameos in the first Zoolander were not only funny, but they made sense for the script that was going along with the film. And Zoolander 2, sure, they were funny. Sure, I enjoyed seeing the cameos, 
but they just were thrown in there. Like, it just felt like the cameos were just thrown in there for the sake of it. The only cameo I feel like actually fits for the storyline is just Justin Bieber's cameo, because really his cameo is what starts the entire plot of Zoolander 2. So it made sense for his cameo to be in the film, but everyone else just felt like they were just thrown in there. The pacing of the film feels very rushed at parts, especially when we get towards the end is where I feel like the film feels the most rushed. Just feels like that they try to throw so many things at once in the storyline that they have to rush through a lot of the events just so they could get to the ending of the film. And honestly, I thought the pacing just could have been a lot better here. The execution for the most part of this film was just plain underwhelming. I thought it could have been a lot better Better. And I will say, as much as I really like Kristen Wiig, she was wasted in this film. She had no point, no purpose at all to be in this film. In fact, if you take out Kristen Wiig out of Zoolander 2, this film would feel no different. It would actually be the exact same movie, even without Kristen Wiig, because she's that pointless in the film she's barely in the film oh yeah and her presence is so awkward Just seeing her with the mouth movements and the way she uses the accent which is so bad and seeing her in zoolander 2 was honestly very disappointing so overall you guys i don't think zoolander 2 is a bad comedy sequel, although I can understand why people would hate the film. I just don't hate it personally. I respect that Ben Stiller tries. Will Ferrell was underwhelming to watch here. Kristen Wiig was wasted. Penelope Cruz is good, but they don't really give her much to do. Most of the humor is forced here, and honestly, the storyline is just a complete mess. So I'm going to give Zoolander 2 two out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what did you think of Zoolander 2 and what did you think of the first Zoolander. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.